Hey guys, so today I have another video for you guys. It's finally summer, so I can film more videos. And we are starting off the summer with an Ipsy bag, of course. And I haven't been getting Ipsy bags for six months. I paused my subscription for a minute because I just have way too much makeup and I don't wear that much makeup, as you can tell. So, um, yeah. I, I feel like I look like Casper the Ghost because my foundation does not match me anymore because of the summer. But we're just gonna work with it. We're gonna continue this video. Let's just get into the unbagging, unboxing. I always say that. So this is the bag for this month. Of course, it's based off Pride. And um, I got the red one. There's also a yellow and a blue one. And it just goes into a gradient. And this is a card. I always show you the card and I, I know you don't care. So, I mean, I don't know why I show you it, but I do. And I'm still going to. The first product and the product that I'm wearing today on my cheekbones, if you will, um, is this Feel Pure Anywhere Balm. And it's just a little cute tube. And I've always wanted a product like a product like this that has no shimmer in it, but like still gives you like a natural glow, you know? Like those Instagrammers and booty gurus. It's pretty much just like a sticky balm that you can put anywhere. You can put it on your lips, on your face, and it's moisturizing. And I used it today for this video because I sometimes do my makeup before videos. And yeah, so um Apparently it's in rose, but honestly, it's just, it's just clear. I was scared that it wasn't going to work very well because it's sticky, but actually, like, I can't even feel it on my face right now. So, it's like minty and refreshing, and yeah, I'm very excited for this product, and I will actually probably use this. The second product is this Beauty For Real 24-7 um, eyeliner. As I'm editing this, I realized it didn't show you a clip or a swatch. So, um, I'm not going to go back and refilm it, but... It's a brown eyeliner. And we got one of these products in a glam bag before and it was in gold. And this one is in a brown shade. So yeah, I have it on my eyes today on the bottom and top. I don't know why I like to do that. It's a pretty creamy eyeliner but it breaks really easily and that's what I'm scared of. But I really like these. Just don't twist them up all the way because you can't twist them back down. I learned that the hard way. So my third product is a peel off face mask and honestly, look, I, lay, I love Ipsy and everything but this tube is kind of small <laughs> and this is probably going to last me like one or two uses at the most but um, yeah and peel off masks are generally not my fa favorite. I like masks that you can wash off because I like just getting the product into my skin and soaking it in so yeah peel off masks are my favorite but this is cruelty free, it is paraben free, GMO free, sulfate free, and synthetic fragrance free. So this should actually be good. It is by the brand Rayeka and has turmeric and orange in it. So next I have this crazy Steve Laurent, um, not <laughs> you say Laurent, eyeshadow. And honestly, like even though it's not you say Laurent, this brand is actually really good. But, I mean, unless I'm doing a creative look on my YouTube channel, where am I going to wear this shade? Where? This shade kind of reminds me of the sh that blue shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette that I used in one of my tutorials. And yeah, this brand is actually really good. I've gotten previous Ipsy's before. And yeah, I'm just gonna have this on my finger the whole video, but it's fine. So, last I have this really, really small Luxie brush. And if you don't know, I've gotten a Luxie brush in Ipsy before, and um, it was like uh, a periwinkle kind of color. I used it today to do this. And this one's like a pink little sh shader brush. Yeah, it's a small shader brush. If you, I feel like it looks like a concealer brush, but anyway, I feel like this would be good for like a cut crease. Anything really detailed on the eye, smudging, anything, because it is a shader brush. And yeah, if you want to pack shadow on with it, this is, this is a very versatile brush. And Luxie is a great brush company, and I'm pretty sure they are cruelty free. You know I have everything in the description box, just look down below, look on the screen, I put stuff everywhere. So, yeah. That is pretty much it for my bag. So cute, it even has a little heart thing. Okay, it kind of matches my shirt too. 
I didn't do that on purpose, just saying. That is it for my Ipsy unbagging. If you wanted me to continue doing Ipsy, or if you like Ipsy videos, I will probably have a poll. Actually, it would be over here because it switches. Um, right here. And you can vote if you still want me to do Ipsy videos. And before I end this video, like this video, subscribe. I haven't done that in like two months. <laughs> My social media will be down below as usual. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! I'm telling you, this was my favorite product in the bag. This mom. Good job. See, good job.